Tonight, 10 years of abuse may finally come to an end in the small town of Cresco, Iowa. A former Boy Scout troop leader was arrested Wednesday for allegedly sexually abusing his scouts. ABC 6 News reporter Emily Pofall spoke with law enforcement about the case. A 73-year-old man was arrested here in Cresco Wednesday for sexual abuse of multiple minors. Law enforcement are commending the alleged victims that came forward for their bravery. The small town of Cresco filled with shock and disappointment after hearing about the alleged abuse in their community. You know, it's really devastating to hear because you do want your children to be involved in the community, and it's hard to do so in today's day and age. 73-year-old James Hughes was arrested last week. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation calling it a historical sex abuse investigation. Not only do we conduct an investigation like this, but we want to make sure that, that any victim has the resources available to them, make the resources available to them that, you know, to help them through this process and, and moving forward in life. According to the criminal complaint, police believe the alleged abuse had been going on for a decade, from 2008 to 2018. Court documents say that Hughes would make teenage boys take off their clothes under the guise of tracking body measurements for the scout's personal fitness merit badge. Further, it says Hughes would watch them undress and grope them. The Winnebago Council of the Boy Scouts of America is calling Hughes's allegations disturbing and opposed to everything for which the Boy Scouts of America stands. His membership was immediately revoked, and he's no longer permitted to participate in the Boy Scouts of America in any capacity. The Iowa DCI is commending those victims for coming forward. The better takeaway or hope is that there is justice for those victims and their families. Um, and we certainly hope that anytime you can bring charges against somebody and, and, you know, potentially and hopefully down the road be able to convict them, that there is, our communities are safer. Now the Cresco community is keeping a closer eye on their kids. It just takes, it takes five minutes for something to happen. So it's better to be more aware and this just confirms that. Iowa DCI encourages anyone that may have heard or seen anything or may be a victim themselves to reach out to the Cresco Police Department. We'll have that information attached to this story on our website at KAALTV.com. In Cresco, Emily Pofall, ABC 6 News.